What's up guys, Coding Jesus here. Bad hair day, but that's not important. In today's video, I wanna share with you guys how exchanges go ahead and match your trades against the order book. Now you probably think it's simple. I mean, you see on your screen trades are being printed, but in reality, you might not really understand the various matching algorithms that go ahead and match you against the order book, and they can lead to drastically different fills for you. Okay guys, who am I? If you're new to my channel, my name is Coding Jesus. I am a high frequency trader in the sense that I'm a quantitative developer. I write high frequency trading code, I write trading software for traders at the, work, at the firm that I work at. And in today's video, I wanna describe matching algorithms for you. Okay, so how do matching algorithms work? Well, each matching algorithm is just a different combination of a given amount of steps. So as long as you understand the steps, you will be good. For example, matching algorithm A can be do step two, then step three, then step four. Matching algorithm B can do do step one, then step four. Matching algorithm C can be do step three and do step one, right? So each matching algorithm that an exchange wants to employ for a given product is simply a combination of different steps. Okay, so what are the various steps? Let's talk about the first and easiest one. The first one is FIFO. Now what's FIFO guys? FIFO stands for first in, first out. First in, first out is probably the most intuitive one to understand. It is price time priority. By that I mean, if me and you are both willing to offer the same price and I got here first, then I get the fill first. Let me give you an example. I'm waiting in line to buy a PS5 and there are 20 PS5s to be sold. And I'm willing to buy 10 and the guy behind me that came later is also willing to buy 10 for the same price. Well, when the doors open, I'm first in line, I walk in, I buy 10, then he comes in and he buys 10. So I get filled before he gets filled. That is FIFO, it's quite simple. What's another step that exchanges employ to match your trade against the order book or match, in, or match incoming trades against you when you're sitting in the order book? Okay, the next way is called pro rata. So pro rata or pro rata, however you wanna call it, is price quantity time priority. So once again, guys, FIFO is price time priority. Pro rata is price quantity time priority. Now, what does that mean? What it means is if you show more size, if you have a trade for a higher quantity sitting on the order book, then you will get matched or filled for more than your peers that may have been there earlier than you. So let me guys give you a high level intuitive example as well. Let's say I'm waiting in line for a PS5 and the PS5 store is selling 100 at 1,000. Cool, I'm willing to buy at 1,000. I'm willing to buy five of them. And there's a guy in front of me that's willing to buy one of them. Now, what ends up happening here, guys? What ends up happening here is because I'm willing to buy more than he is, I will get filled for quantity first, and I will get more of that share of the pie than he would. Now, this is especially important in situations when there is more quantity showing on the order book than there is a, 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 a trade to potentially fill me. Let me give you an example, guys. Let's say, for example, the PS5 store is selling 100 PS5s. I'm waiting in line and I'm willing to buy 10,000 PS5s. And the person in front of me is willing to buy one PS5. Well, what ends up happening is that one plus 10,000 is 10,001. I'm willing to buy 10,000, so my share of 10,001 PS5s is 99.99999. So what will end up happening, guys, is I will get all those 100 PS5s, and the guy in front of me will get zero. Why is that? Because price, quantity, priority. I showed a willingness to buy more, therefore I get allocated more. So I get allocated all those 100 PS5s, and the guy that was sitting in front of me waiting, he got there first, gets zero because his share of the pie wasn't big enough to get him a PS5. Okay guys, let's talk about another step that exchanges employ in their trade in their matching algorithms. That other step is called top. Now what is top? To understand top, you need to understand the reason for top being there. Exchanges want the most volume and the tightest spreads. So what will they do? They will encourage people to always outbid or out offer the other person to improve the bid or improve the offer. How will they do that? They will have a top step in their matching algorithm and top is usually first. So what will happen? They will say, if you are on the best bid or the best offer and you are willing to show a minimum of X quantity, then it doesn't matter what algorithm or what steps come later, you will be allocated the entire top quantity. Let me give you an example, guys. Let's say I am willing to buy 250 PS5s, okay? 
And there's a guy in front of me in the line willing to buy them at the same price. He's willing to buy 100 PS5s. Now the EB Games Store's top quantity is 200. That means if you quote for 200 or more at the best price, you will be top status eligible. So what happens is the doors of the EB Games opens and the guy walks in and he says, I want to buy 100. And the store guy says, okay, who's the guy behind you? The guy behind you is, is me. I'm willing to buy at the same price, but for 250. 250, 250 units. So the EB Games store owner will say, okay, because you are at the best bid and you pass the top quantity, I am willing to sell you the 200 units directly to you and not to the guy that came before you. You are top status eligible. So I get those 200 PS5s. I have 50 a quantity remaining. And the guy in front of me gets nothing because he wasn't part of the top status eligible. There was only one top status eligible person. They have to meet the minimum top threshold, be at the best offer or the best uh, bid, and simply stand there and wait to be allocated. That is top. Okay guys, the last step that I wanna talk about, or maybe the second last step, is called lead market maker. Some people think this is fair, some people think this is completely unfair. I'm not here to hash that out. The lead market maker works like this. If you are a shop, a proprietary trading shop, or a hedge fund or whatnot, and you're trading a lot in this exchange, you will be eligible for a lead market maker. You'll be part of the lead market maker program. That means that you will be allocated a given amount of the trade, regardless of whether where you are in the queue. So, of course, you have to be the best price or the best offer, but you can be the last person in the queue. As long as you are lead market maker, you will be allocated a percentage. Now, this percentage will never be over 50%, and the percentage is proprietary between the exchange and that given individual. So, if you're a retail trader, you have no idea how much the lead market maker is being allocated on a trade. Let me give you guys an example once again to solidify this concept. I'm buying PS5s, and everybody in line is offering 100 bucks for a PS5, and let's just say, you know, everybody is off, the guy in front is offering, I want to buy 10,000 of them. And I'm way in the back and I'm offering to buy, you know, 10, 10 of them. Now, what happens when the EB Games open their stores and says, okay, guys, you all want to buy for the same price. Who's the lead market maker here? I raise my hand. I'm part of the lead market maker program. And me and you, boss, me and you have a deal that you will allocate me 10% of whatever you have until I'm filled. Okay, he says, I have 100 PS5s to sell, 10% of that is 10, how much are you buying? I say, I'm buying 10. He says, okay, I'll give you these 10 immediately to you because you're a lead market maker. Doesn't matter that there were thousands of people in front of me, doesn't matter that the first guy was willing to offer 10,000 units, I will get allocated those 10 PS5s, right? Because that's how much I want, I'm part of the lead market maker program, which guarantees me 10% of the incoming order, which is 100, 10% of 100 is 10, I want to buy 10, I get those 10. Right? Other lead market makers will also be allocated their given percentage. But the guy at the front that said, I've been waiting here all day, well, sucks to be you. Okay, guys, that were, that was, you know, four to five different steps that can be used in any given matching algorithm. So in reality, what will happen is something like this. Every given product in an exchange will have maybe its own matching algorithm, maybe they'll have similar matching algorithms. And there aren't that many. There's only, I don't know, six to 10 on the CME. What will happen is each matching algorithm will just be a combination of various steps. So you might have matching algorithm A that is first top, then FIFO. There might be a matching algorithm B that is first top, then pro rata. There might be matching algorithm C that is simply FIFO. And that's how this works, guys. Okay, hopefully you've learned from this video. Hopefully you've gained some knowledge. If you did, guys, make sure to like and subscribe. I don't have a fancy marketing department. I'm doing this for my own apartment. Respecting the hustle, guys. And if you want to join our Discord, I have a Discord in the link down below. The Church of Coding Jesus. You can join us there to discuss, to chat. I'm always there available. So hit us up there, guys. Once again, make sure to smash like. Thanks for watching. Cheers.